Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna be cooking some deer fillets. Now this is some fresh venison I harvested this season. Got it prepped up, wrapped in a little bit of bacon. We're gonna get it over some hot coals and sear it real fast. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get to cooking. So deer meat is a staple in our house. I mean, I chase them in the off season when I'm not doing videos. I always try to take a couple to help with conservation. Well, this is one of my favorite ways to prepare it. The first thing you have to do with deer meat is know how to really get it trimmed up. And all that means is removing any of the sinew, the excess fat. That's what makes it tough. That's what gives it that gamey taste. When you get it down to just the red meat, it's fantastic. So once the back straps are trimmed, I'm just cutting them into four inch pieces. That's gonna make a big enough steak that I can butter butterfly and it's going to give it that nice fillet shape. So the marinade is really going to give it some flavor. I've got Worcestershire soy, balsamic vinegar, some seasonings. I'll throw the recipe up on the screen, but it's really going to penetrate that deer meat. It needs about two hours. Then we're going to be ready to prep them for the grill. I'm wrapping these fillets in bacon today. That's gonna give us some flavor on the outside, but I pre-cooked the bacon just a little bit, six to seven minutes in the oven. That gives the bacon a head start and make sure it's done at the same time the fillets are done on the grill. Now, after the fillets have soaked in the marinade for at least two hours, we're gonna take them out. We're just gonna kind of blot off the excess with some paper towel. Then I'm gonna take the bacon that we've drained on paper towel as well to get all that grease off of it. And we're gonna wrap them around the outside of each fillet. And it helps to use toothpicks to secure those so the bacon stays on while we cook them on the grill. So I'm cooking these fillets over a hot fire today and you could do it on any grill. I put some B&B charcoal in a chimney and got it hot inside my Weber kettle. When the coals were just right, just dump it in, spread them out a little bit. I put a set of grill grates on top of the regular Weber grate and that's gonna give us some sear marks when it's cooking, but it's also gonna even out those temperatures all across the grill surface and it's gonna make the deer cook really even. As soon as the grates are hot, I'm gonna give it a quick scrub down with my grill safe paddle and then we're just gonna let it come up to about 455 500 degrees and we're going to sear that deer. The Weber's coming right up on 500 degrees which is going to be perfect for searing. Before we get these deer fillets on I'm just going to season them with a touch more salt pepper garlic that AP and a touch of my steak rub. You could use any season here if you got something that you like on deer meat or on steaks hey experiment with it. Try it. Now I'm going to season the bottom side once we get them on the grill but let's get these over to the hot fire and get them cooking. All right so let's get these fillets on the grill. I'm gonna do them all at the same time. So to put them on, press them down a little bit, make sure we got some surface contact. Now we're gonna season this backside real quick. Now I'm gonna start a timer for about a minute and a half Then we're gonna get the lid closed on the grill. We're gonna keep the lid closed. When our timer goes off, we're gonna give them a twist. Then we'll flip them, repeat the same process, and they're gonna be done. All right, I'm getting these deer fillets off now. It's only been about six minutes total cook time, but they're about 120 degrees, and that's where I want these fillets. I mean, that is gorgeous. It's got those beautiful grill marks on them. The bacon's nice and brown now. So the fillets hung out for about five minutes here. That's really all they need, just a short rest. And I'm gonna show you how I'm serving them today. I put a little asparagus on the grill, just seasoned it with some olive oil, a little salt, pepper, and garlic, that AP seasoning. Let it go about 10 minutes is all it takes on a 400 degree medium high heat grill. So I'm gonna put some of those down first on my little serving platter. I also made a sauce to go with asparagus. It's a boars and cheese sauce. I just put it in a boiler pot with a little bit of heavy cream, about a quarter cup to thin it down, melt it, smooth it out, season it with just a pinch of lemon pepper and it's good to go. We're gonna put that just drizzled over the asparagus and then I'm gonna set the fillets right on top. And this is how I would serve it. I'd say a portion would be two fillets and man, that is beautiful. And this is how I would serve it. Some asparagus, a little bit of creamy cheese sauce with the two deer fillets. And hey, I'm gonna try this. Asparagus dipped in this sauce, I know it's great. Mm. That's enough vegetable. Let's get one of these fillets. I'm gonna take our toothpicks out. Don't forget to tell your guests that, that there's toothpicks inside it. And I've just got a knife and a fork, but I'm gonna cut it 
right across here and see how it looks. I mean, check that, that is, oh, oh, that's so perfect. It's got that rare to medium rare temperature, which is perfect for any kind of venison. I'm gonna get a piece right off the corner. Give me some of that bacon. The bacon's browned up. You know, it's done. It's gonna give it a lot of flavor too. Mm. Deer meat is so good. I mean, it really is some great tasting red meat. It is the all natural meat. And when you cook it like this over hot coals, it gives it such a great flavor. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try a little bit of this cheese sauce right over that deer. I know that's gonna be fantastic. Mm. Wow. So real quick, what we did today, we took some fresh backstrap, we cut it into four inch pieces and then butterflied it into fillets. We got it in the marinade about two hours and then we wrapped it in some bacon that we pre-cooked just a little bit so it would brown. We seasoned the outside with a little of that salt and pepper and garlic and steak rub and then got it on some hot coals until it was about 120 degrees internal. Served it with some asparagus, a little boars and cream sauce and man, you've got a fine meal. You've got to try this one, especially if you're a hunter, if you like deer meat, you could also do it with some beef filet. It would work just the same. Try the marinade, try the sauces. Thank y'all for checking us out today on How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be putting out videos all year long, cooking up all kinds of good stuff. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're doing a weekly podcast as well where we wrap up all the stuff we did to the week. So check that out. We'll see y'all next time.